great day everyone! Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated on my latest videos. So today class we are going to discuss different topics. And welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial! Good morning class! Good morning my dear students! So today we are going to discuss about chemical element. What is a chemical element? A chemical element class is also called an element. Any substance that cannot be decomposed into a simpler substance by ordinary chemical processes. Elements are the fundamental materials of which all matter is composed. So you know what is matter guys? Matter is composed of solid and liquid and gas matter. Without the three phases of matter, we can't live in this world. Because we need what you call a solid matter, a liquid matter, and a gas matter. So today class, I'm going to show you the different examples of elements with their symbol. And what is this? First, gold. What is the symbol of gold? A U. This is the symbol of gold, my dear students. So take note of that. Copper, second element. C U. Okay? That's uppercase and lowercase. That's the symbol of copper. Next, iron. Iron class is uppercase F and lowercase E. If E, that's the symbol for iron. Calcium, C A, that's the symbol for calcium. Iodine, the letter I or uppercase of the letter. So these are the following examples and the following elements and symbol of chemical elements. Remember guys, or my dear student, this is very much important. Uh, so for example, if you are what you call a higher grade or grader, so for example, grade 7, even though it starts with grade 6, grade 7, we are going to study about the periodic table of element. It's talking about chemical symbols and chemical elements because this is very much important class to familiarize with so i'm giving to you the five examples of element and symbols we are going to proceed now to our exercises our exercises will help you awakening your mind about the different symbols of the different elements here we go direction says give the symbol of the following elements okay and what are the different what you call symbols of the following elements number one is a sodium sodium class okay we're going to write the symbol of sodium in a that is sodium silver for silver, we have uppercase A and lowercase G. Silver. Next, lead. Uppercase P and lowercase B. That's for lead. Next, magnesium. Uppercase M, lowercase G. Next, lithium. For lithium class, we have uppercase L and lowercase I. That is for lithium again. So, John, NA, silver, AG, lead, PB, magnesium, MG. Lichom L I
Next, number seven. Number seven is platinum. For platinum class, we have P, T, uppercase and lowercase. Remember, platinum is what you call the very expensive also element. Then, we are going to use or mix in making a jewelry pool. P, T, that is platinum. For mercury also class, we use this one in what we call combining. So for example, you are going to plot in plazing what we call or finding gold. That is mercury, a white liquid. We're going to write H G. That is for mercury. Next, bromine. B R uppercase and lower case. Phosphorus. We have P upper case. Zinc, upper case, and lower case. Okay, again, zinc, Zn, phosphorus, P, bromine, Br, mercury, Hg, platinum, Pt, lithium, Li, magnesium, Mg, lead, Pb, silver, Ag, sodium, Na. These are the following symbols. And, of course, these are the following elements class. Again, so for gold, we have AU, copper, CU, iron, FE, calcium, CA, iodine, I. This class is what we call our guides in making our exercises also. Okay? This is part of our review about chemical element class. Remember, in doing this chemical element, we can also, what you call, combine the different, what you call, elements and symbols of this, like gold, copper, iron, calcium, iodine, like that. For sodium, you can combine to chlorine. So we don't have chlorine class. Sodium plus chlorine is sodium chloride okay so say for example i have an example class on how to combine these two elements and then we are going to write also our new products so for example in e is what we called sodium next for chlorine we have cl We can combine this in E C L. That means to say class, this is how you are going to read. So John Clo Ride. Chiram, another example. So for example, H two O. H two O means this is water. Okay? Then we are going to combine with chlorine. The, the product is hydrogen chloride. Okay, this is how you are going to combine the two what you call elements into one. That is this is a very much important class you know already how to familiarize the different elements and different symbols and how you are going to combine like this from sodium to chlorine so we have sodium chloride from water to chlorine we have hydrogen chloride okay chair another like this one magnesium class mg cl so for you magnesium this one class magnesium so for example so, for example, class, chair si magnesium po. Paano po natin makombine si magnesium? Okay, this one is magnesium class. Okay, magnesium. So, this one is the chlorine. Okay. So, when we are going to combine, magiging MG 
Cl. That means to say, magnesium chloride. Okay? This will be on how you are going to combine from magnesium from first element to second element and chlorine. The result is magnesium chloride. Or you are going to write the symbol MgCl. That's magnesium chloride, my dear students. Hope, my dear students, you learn a lot how to combine the different chemical elements. Again, chemical elements class, you can decompose or you can decompose it into a simpler substance even though it's ordinary chemical process. But this is a very much important class for you, my dear students for a brighter future if so for example you're taking up bachelor of science in chemical engineering like that so you know how to substitute the different chemical elements so for example class another idea is so for example you are going to create uh, i think jewelry in making a jewelry class chair paano po paggawa ng jewelry what are the elements okay elements okay when you said elements, it's plural class. We composed, okay, how many elements composed of jewelry? So, for example, copper. Next is zinc. And, of course, the uh, silver. Okay. Copper, zinc, and silver class. The result is white gold. Okay? That's the process. For silver, so we have Okay, gold, zinc, and copper. For silver, so we have AG, silver, then gold, and what we called uh, a little amount of copper that's result for yellow gold okay i think that's the process class on how you are going to combine the different elements into one product this will be their products in making jewelry. Did you understand, my dear students? Hope you understand about our discussion today and how you're going to combine the different elements and familiarize it, the different, what we call the symbols with the different elements. Once again, my dear students, so long class. See you in my next video. If you are new here in the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated in our latest tutorial. Bye-bye. See you in my next videos. Thanks for watching.